everyone, it's Meredith Griffin from Major Crush and welcome to my kitchen here in Sonoma, California. If you're watching this video, then you've probably joined our club and you have our First Loves collection, which we were so excited to get in your hands. Well, today I'm gonna share a recipe pairing with you. And one of the things we often talk about is cab, which this is meant to go with the Orinda Hayes Cabernet Sauvignon, is that everyone thinks cab needs meat to go with it. Well, I'm here to show you otherwise. It's fall season and I love squash and there's so much you can do with squash. So I'm using butternut squash and I'm gonna make a vegetarian dish with you. And then we're gonna share it with Lou and we're gonna get the approval. I feel good about that it's a great pairing with the Cabernet Sauvignon. All right, so first things first, before you start this cooking process, is make sure you pour yourself a glass of the Orinda Hayes so that, we'll go back to John Ash's interview in the Major Crush podcast in the season three, where he talks about how Julia Child, as she was cooking, she had a glass of the wine she was gonna serve with the meal so she could ad adapt the seasoning to make sure that it went well. And it never hurts to start sipping a little wine while you're cooking too. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I love squash. In the fall, it just, it feels so cozy and warm and it's hearty, but it's also healthy, which makes me feel so much better about eating it. Plus, squash is really a blank canvas. Whatever flavors you add to it, it really soaks those up so you can do so much with it. One of my things is because I love cab. I'm actually a huge cab fan, but I'm not a huge meat fan. So I'm always looking for creative ways to have vegetarian dishes that pair really well with a good Cabernet Sauvignon. And our Rinda Hayes is one of those great cabs. I start by roasting butternut squash for about 45 minutes until it's tender, fork tender. I scoop out the flesh of the squash of the squash trying to make sure that I maintain the shape of it and then to that squash I've already while it was roasting I have sauteed uh, a little bit of shallot in some butter and olive oil added mushrooms added thyme a little bit of rosemary to that and then once that's all soft and melded together I top it with just a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg to add this nice warm spice into the dish. Then I add some already cooked quinoa to it. I mix all that together, salt and pepper to your taste. Maybe have a little sip of the wine, see if you need to add more salt and pepper. I stuff that back into the butternut squash shells. Top it with some Gruyere cheese, which is, has a little bit of funk too, but then again, that's what makes it pair with this Cabernet Sauvignon. And this gets into the pairing. Why does this go so well with cab? First of all, you have this butternut squash. Again, I said it's like a blank canvas, so it's gonna soak up whatever flavors you add to it, but it's already kind of got this creamy, nutty complexity to it. Mushrooms give it the earthiness, so because cab, is so full body and there's so many layers to it and it's a bold line one of the things that that allows is for there to be layers in the food because there's layers in the wine so that's why we've got butternut squash it's going to add nuttiness and even a little bit of like this kind of sweet texture to it which pulls out the fruit in the wine we've got the earthiness of the mushrooms there's earthiness in this wine and then you're going to add this greer which is a little <laughs> funky a little stinky but it's gonna again be like that's in a cab. So it, these both are layered with lots of different flavors and complexities. All right, and I'm just gonna put it, the oven's down to 375. I'm just gonna put it in here for about 10 minutes and I might for the last couple of minutes crank it up to broil just to really get that cheese nice and golden brown. All right, can't wait. So my buddy and co-host Lou is typically gonna pair his cab with a steak or some kind of meat. I'm pretty excited to see if I can switch him to falling in love with this pairing of a vegetarian dish and the cab. Can't wait to try. All right, so let's talk about this butternut squash. It's stuffed butternut squash and it's stuffed with quinoa mushrooms. There's some thyme, there's some rosemary, nutmeg, Mm. and then it's topped with Greer cheese. And the reason I think it's a delicious pairing is this cab has layers. You get fruit. It does. And then you get earthy. You get those warm spices, baking spices that brings in the nutmeg, the 
earthiness brings in the mushrooms, then that kind of funky Gruyere cheese on there, just boom. That's it. What? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because you, I, you know, I love your cooking, yeah, and I love to eat healthy. But you always think it, you know, you got a cab, you got to do a steak. Yep. And then it's what kind of we were raised on, you know? You were. You thought, like, that's the only thing that holds up to it. But it's it's interesting, the savoriness of it. Uh-huh. But then the squash has a little bit of sweetness and savory. And this particular cab especially has all those finishing notes. Yeah. Golly. Uh, it's perfect. Um, yes. <laughs> this is so I, good. If I can convert you, maybe I can convert my husband. That'd be great, wouldn't it?